Key Stage 4 is from year 10 to 11 and it's from ages 14 to 16. The course is two years long. Um, in this school you can get 10 GCSEs um, up to 10. We've got four compulsory subjects and then you've got four optional subjects. The compulsory subjects are English, Maths, um, a double award science and a language and then we have four um, optional subjects. You also have to do SMSC and PE. Some of the optional courses are Economics, Business Studies, PE but an assessed version, Psychology, Art, Drama, Media Studies, Further Maths, that's an additional subject, uh, History, Geography, Business and Drama. Also you don't have to do um, as many as you as we do, you can also do study skills, which isn't actually a GCSE, but it helps you prepare for all your other GCSEs. In year nine, so before we um, started the GCSE program, we had a taste a week, so we um, had a lesson in each of the possible subjects that we could choose from, and that gave us a clear idea of um, which ones we'd like to choose. And also we had the information evening which gave us the opportunity to speak to students current that were currently doing the GCSE programme and also the teachers and if they think that you are able to do that subject at GCSE. And again it's the same for us now moving on to A level. We will have the we've had um, taster lessons in the A level course and um, we'll also have an information evening where again they'll tell you if you they think you're able to do that subject. At a level. If you have any questions or things that you're unsure about in a subject, you can always ask a teacher and you can meet up with them, for example, in a lunch time or after school. Yeah, I think it's really great because our teachers, if you ever have any kind of question or, or doubt about the course or something you don't understand, you, could, you just simply go to them and they'll, they'll help you. To get into sixth form, you need to have five A stars to C's and maths and English have to be above C. The subjects that you want to take at A-level, they recommend getting a B or above at GCSE so, um, to make sure that you'll be able to do that subject because it does go into more detail. Lots of opportunities in helping build uh, your CV because that's something that we have to start looking at. So for example, you can join the parliament, you, you could become head of um, a house, um, also, we've had um, workshops with Barclays who help you um, learn how to write a CV and also um, work experience. We've had a three day work experience um, in fields that we're interested in or would possibly like to go into and that's just helping us prepare for the future. Really. In Key Stage 4 you can start Mary Jeunesse, uh, which is also known as the Duke of Edinburgh Award and it's something that um, potential universities or if you're applying to a job they would look at and they would like to see because it shows that you are hard working and have taken your time out to do this award and we both do it and we're about to do our gold award which is the the last stage so you have bronze, silver, gold and the difficulty increases. You have to do volunteer work, uh, a skill and a sport um, for a certain period of time and then go on the hike which is always very fun. To do and you do all the map reading by yourself you have to carry your tent, um, carry the tranche so that you can cook food, carry your food, carry your clothes so it's difficult but it's very rewarding because you're also doing it with people that you get on well with and you're in a difficult situation together and that just helps you get close to